bias effects have the best IRs. And let me tell you why. Because I sound like Mark Okubo. And that shouldn't be a possible thing. Please let me show you. <laughs> So that is basically his tone from Common Man's Collapse. And all I friggin' did was uh, use this Pod Farm plugin, right? Um, here, let me let me show you. So we have it on line six, big bottom, because I'm sure that's what he used for uh, the the uh, the record. After that, throw on Bias Effects two. And this is where I'm going to show you how good these are. Um, you put on a friggin' whatever, whatever uh, 4x12 speaker you want. I picked the, the ENG on one side, so super easy. Uh, don't worry why it's called Ollie Rhythm. That has nothing to do with anything. Um, so yeah, that one's on the ENG, I think. And then this one... This one is um, also on the ENG. Maybe I just picked the same one. Whoops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I did pick the same one. And you activate the R121 microphone, SM57, and it sounds really cool. Even the amps from Bias FX2 are pretty sick as well. So even try those out, but... You know, even just running like a straight up amp, whatever amp that you want, and then throw it through the IRs that Bias FX2 has, it can give you a lot of realism to your uh, to your tones. So I really recommend. And um, don't forget about this Pod Farm uh, preamp thing. This is a golden ticket to get in fat tone. Um, just throw it on don't even bother like boosting anything you know it's just throw it on leave it and forget about it throw that on both channels as you can see um and you'll have a uh, sick tone <laughs> I didn't play it very lined up, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. It's about you playing it lined up and getting the friggin' tone that you want. Yeah. And if you want to know what I'm using for drums, just Superior Drummer with the Dark Matter, Easy X um, setting, or sorry, library, sound library. And I just did a little couple thingies with the kit. I can um, put this kit in the description if you want. Uh, just ask for it, and I'll and I'll throw it in there. Um, anyways, yeah, there's that. All the different things picked, kick. Yeah, nothing's, nothing's layered. I'm pretty sure everything. Oh, maybe it's China. Oh, it's off. Um, yeah, this is actually a custom mini China, but it doesn't matter. I didn't even use it. Um, yeah, pretty much this kit, but if I if I export this, you'll probably get these sounds too, so that would be really cool. Um, and yeah, uh, there's there's a little bit of Saturn 2 on the thing, on clean tube. Not really sure what this is doing, but it looks like I'm uh, um, distorting just just the high end of the drums with clean tube. Uh, random decision, but it just felt right in the moment. Um, I also have this uh, this reverb going on, right? Now, this reverb is for the snare. The snare that's um, being routed out. Where is it? Yeah, I, I routed an extra like snare, snare top to a bus right here. And that's going out of Superior Drummer into Ableton right here. 
and to the vintage verb ambience mode color 1970s big ambience gate thingy all the settings are there um and then i just eq'd it to make it look funny um and yeah yeah that's my whole session uh, oh actually you know what there's guitar stuff too don't forget about the andy sneep um oops don't want to move that um the andy sneep guitar trick where you um you uh you basically get a certain amount of hertz like 250 hertz all the way down to whatever 60 something um and then you just compress that um low end picking because there's going to be a lot with this amp right the big bottom it's just a little too heavy on the low end so you want to you want to flatten it a little bit as it's uh, chugging along um yeah that's cool and then uh i eq'd it a little funny again no no particular reason why it just it's it sounded okay so i i left it that way i guess the amp was a little too dark so i boosted it up here and then kind of just rolled it off after a certain point um what else we got we got more clean tube saturn's just it's just the go-to plugin just the most goaded plugin i think you should get it it's only uh it's only uh you can maybe torrent it but don't do that obviously buy it it's only like hundred and something dollars um yeah or you can get the whole package it's like a thousand bucks anyways uh yeah that's that's the whole video on why you should get bias effects too um <laughs>